This weekend, I have discovered a new thing I hate listing. <laughs> and there's several things I hate listing, okay? Hey everyone, Sunday afternoon. Uh, I got a couple orders to pull, nine I think, and so we'll grab those. Uh, first thing I need to pull, I actually sold at the end of the last video, but I hadn't pulled it yet. It's these Hot Wheels that sold for a whopping 99 cents, and they did pay. So last time I didn't pull it because they hadn't paid yet. But now that they've paid, I can go ahead and pull this, and they paid $7.70 in shipping. Oh, and so this one, we had a, I had a question in the last video, and a lot of you responded, so I appreciate that. And my question was about, I think this is it right here. Let me just make sure these are the right cars. Uh, yeah. Yes. Looks the same. Um, so I asked a question in the last video about shipping first class if someone orders and pays priority. And pretty much everyone in the comments said the policy is you have to ship the exact method that's specified on the order. That is the policy. But also many, many people in the comments said they have shipped first class on priority and never had any issues. I myself have done it that way since I started reselling 10 years ago and I've never had a complaint and never an issue. But if that is a policy, I will definitely stop doing it. And if it says uh, USPS priority, I'll ship it priority. I'm cool with that too. I don't wanna get in trouble. So let's see, this is, um, let me see how this one is actually shipped because it says standard. Hmm. Okay, so this one, I actually did charge for first class, not priority. So they did, I did first class at 15 ounces on this one because I thought it would be right on the line. So I'll have to check and see if I can actually hit the first class number. Let's see, let's weigh it really quick. Oh yeah, that should be fine. Box and stuff might add like four ounces. So we'll be good, that'll go first class. And you know, I'm not gonna lose money, but definitely not a very good profit on that car. All right, so the next order is in bin U8, and this is a Funko Pop. I don't have many Funko Pops for sale right now, but uh, this is one I had. And is this U8? Yeah. It's right here at the top. This one had some box damage, which is why I think it took forever to sell. I've had it listed for quite a while. And it was even like a Barnes & Noble exclusive, but since the box was in not great condition, it just took a really long time to sell. And I took an offer on this of $10. Uh, it was funny because it was only $11 plus 480 shipping. They offered me 10 plus 480 shipping and I was like, yeah, a buck off, I could do that. So I'm just glad to have it gone. But yeah, you can see in the uh, the photo, I put you know a picture of the box damage. I put in the notes some box damage right here. So, you know, the buyer knows what to expect. It might be like me. So I like Funko Pops, right? I have some up there. I'm not the kind of person who needs to leave them in the box, so I'm happy to buy a Funko Pop, take it out, and throw the box away. I don't, I'm not a collector. I actually don't like them in the box. I think the boxes aren't that exciting. I think the actual, you know, Funko is cool, but I don't like the boxes, so. I get it, collectors want them in nice condition, but for me, I really just like the actual Funko Pops. And if I get one, I just take it out and I enjoy it. So to talk a little bit about listings, um, this weekend has not been as good as last weekend when it comes to listings. And I'm not sure if it's just like a lack of motivation or what, but I did not get much listed this weekend. Uh, the next order is a hat and it's an FF. Oh, it's kind of getting squished by some stamps. This is a Boston Celtics hat. It's kind of cool. Old vintage hat. Um, I don't know. I don't think this came with that lot of hats I bought. We cover the world, official hat, yeah. Um, I think I paid a buck for that at a yard sale and that sold for $18.99, 480 shipping. So that was a good one. I, I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for that. It was a nice profit. Okay, so here's an interesting topic to discuss really quickly. I think, that there's certain things people enjoy listing more than other things. So I personally learn every time I buy something or source something, whether or not I enjoy listing that type of item. And so for an example, I bought all those cassettes, those old cassettes. Um, most of them were like 80s and 90s rock and grunge. And I enjoyed 
listing those a lot. Like it was really fun for me. I was like taking some of them, putting them in my cassette player and listening to them. I was enjoying the cover art, all that sort of stuff. I really enjoyed listing them. And for me, if I enjoy listing something, I can list all day and it doesn't bother me. I enjoy it, I'm having fun. Um, and those are the kind of things I really like to buy. But every now and then I'll buy a new category, something I've never bought before, and I get to learn if I enjoy listing that thing or that item or not. So a couple examples, I bought all these horses, um, these Briar horses. I didn't hate listing them, right? It wasn't my favorite thing to list, but in, in regards to like taking photos, they were kind of fun to take pictures of, looking them up and kind of doing the research was kind of enjoyable. And I did it for like six hours straight two Friday nights ago and I, I didn't hate it. I had a pretty good time. Uh, I watched some TV while I was doing it. And for me, like if I go to a yard sale or thrift store and I see a Briar horse, I'm gonna buy it because I didn't hate listing it. They're worth some money. I mean, I have to pay the right price. I think I've told you I like to pay. I think they're worth paying five or less for in general. Um, but yeah, so those are something I didn't hate listing. But this weekend, I have discovered a new thing I hate listing. <laughs> and there's several things I hate listing, okay? So this box has a couple of the things. Oh, let me show you. This Tupperware has a couple of things I hate listing. And so I'm gonna pull out the first and foremost thing I hate listing more than anything is these. Baseball cards. Sports cards of any way, shape, or form. I just don't like listing them. I'm not into sports. So I don't have any like nostalgia or enjoyment in reading like the stats or anything like that. I just don't like listing them. But the new thing I discovered I hate listing this weekend is pins. I hate listing these. <laughs> I, I mean, they're up there with baseball cards and this is, I'm gonna tell you why. Cause I think I bought 50 pins, right? And I paid a hundred bucks. We talked about this last week. But the problem is like each pin it seems to be worth $5. So if you think about it, if every pin is worth $5 and I sell all 50 for five bucks a piece, that's $250. I paid $100, that's a profit. The problem is I hate listing them. I don't like taking the pictures. They're very hard to photograph, they're very small. You have to get them under the light. Like I was putting them up on this ledge here and then trying to take my camera like right over it and it would be too reflective. And then if I didn't use that light, it was too dark and you couldn't make out the lettering and they're impossible to comp. <laughs> Anyways, on and on and on. I did not like listing them. I listed enough pins basically to get my $100 back. And then I got frustrated and stopped listing them. <laughs> I will list them. This is basically my little death pile bin. It's where I put stuff that I really don't want to list, but eventually I will list. I'm sure there'll be a time where I have a lot of free time. I just didn't feel like doing it this weekend. Oh, and right next to it is another thing I hate listing, posters. I don't know why. Like, I like the pictures on posters, but these have sat here for four months unlisted because I hate taking them out, trying to find something to hold the four corners, getting a good angle of the poster. And so for me, I just don't like listing them. I just don't. <laughs> Here's the question, and this, this is the key. Put in the comments below what you absolutely hate listing. Something that you know you can make money on, but you'd rather just not buy it because you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to list it. You don't want to sell it. So I know a lot of people, they hate listing VCRs because they don't want to ship them because they're big and bulky and hard to ship. I'm fine with listing VCRs, but when it comes to pins, I've realized I hate listing them. And if I go somewhere with pins, I'm probably not going to buy them. Okay, sorry for that rant about what I like listing and what I hate listing. Let's keep pulling orders. My next order is an M6, which is right here, and it's a keyboard. This keyboard came off the uh, Goodwill pallet I bought. I did test it, it works fine. So that'll be, you know, an easy shipper pretty much. I'll put it in one of these priority boxes. Uh, this sold for $9.49. Customer paid nine bucks in shipping as well. So that's a nice one off that pallet. Oh. Okay, so these are cool. These are not in my garage though, because me and the kids keep using them. So I may cut some of this out as I try to find them, but I think last time I saw them, they were in my little laundry area here. Turn on the light. <sighs> these messy, look at these cabinets. They're packed with junk here and there. So these are little uh, binoculars, kind of cool. 
I think they were like circa 1920 or something like that. Um, we had, what was it, a meteor shower a couple weeks ago, and so we went and laid on the um, trampoline in the backyard, and we looked at the meteor shower. That was pretty cool, and we used these to do that, although they didn't really work that well. Would have been better to have a um, telescope. So, yeah, really nice little binoculars. Those sold for $19.99, $7.70 shipping. And does it say Antique La Verre Fab? They're opera glasses, technically but they worked fine for seeing things far away. Okay, so I have this other sale and I don't like this when this happens. This customer wrote me a message last night at like 11.30 uh, p.m. and I was already asleep, so I didn't see it. But I woke up and saw it this morning. They asked, how big is this? How many inches? Uh, and it's a Luke Skywalker with a Yoda on his back. And since I didn't see it, they just bought it. And so I'm really, I'm hoping they don't get upset because it's smaller than they thought or bigger than they thought because they bought it without me answering. And so hopefully that doesn't cause any issues. Um, ideally they would have waited just in case they're not happy with the size of it, but we'll see. He's right here. How big is he? Looks like he's about six inches or so. I could measure him. I guess I could uh, measure him and send a message to the buyer saying, hey, just saw this. Uh, Luke is all right, so Luke is nine inches. I just measured him, he's nine inches tall. So maybe I'll write them and tell him. Okay, let's touch a little bit on this uh, USPS mistake again. I had a bunch of comments. Most people seem to agree with me that they thought it was a flat rate and that uh, the USPS just messed it up. Uh, even had a few people say they've had this happen to them. Uh, also had a few people recommend I take it down to the USPS and you know complain about it. See if they can do anything about the money I wasted on it. Um, I probably won't do that. My USPS always has a line out the door. So I do anything within my capabilities to not have to wait in that line <laughs> because that's just not worth my 40 minutes or however long it might take to get up to the front of the line. So I probably will just move on. Like I said, I reprinted the label. Here's one comment. Someone said I could have reprinted the same label and used it, but I couldn't find it because I think it was too old. So, uh, you know, it is what it is, $8 loss. But the buyer messaged me and I had not messaged them yet. They messaged me yesterday. I had not messaged them yet. And they said, hey, what's going on? I really want to buy this other Briar horse you have. It was one of the white ones, I think. I think it's this one here. She really wants to buy this one, but she's not doing it because the first thing she bought from me earlier in February has not arrived. The tracking number isn't showing anything. So she's just concerned about me as a seller because she never got the first item. So that mistake by USPS could have potentially cost me this customer and this extra sale, but I did write her back and I said, hey, this is what's going on. I even linked her to the video that I made. And I said, you know, USPS just thought it was a flat rate. They messed it up. I've got it packed up and ready to go back out. It's sitting right over there. Um, and I'm gonna send it back out for you. I'm really sorry about the trouble. And she was super appreciative and thankful and said she's still gonna hold off on buying the other one until this one arrives. So I can't blame her. She's a little leery, a little skeptical, um, but I think she'll be happy once she, this arrives and then she'll hopefully buy that other one, which I think is a pretty cool horse too. Okay, let's pull my last order for now. It's... Hello, Annabelle. Hi. What you got there? Kitty time? <laughs> it's like just a stuffed animal or something. I got one more order to pull, and it's these pots that sold, and they should be right here. You were with me at the yard sale when I bought these, Anna. Do you remember them? These right here? The one where you got the little blue piggy, king, piggy thingy, the little cookie jar, the blue cookie jar. Um, I don't know if I got a cookie jar there. It was uh, you and Callie, and it was like Sunday morning late. We went, and it was a far drive. And uh, anyways, so I got these two pans, and I paid $10 for a whole basket of goodies there. And these two were in there. These are like some really old cast iron made in Ireland. So, I mean, they're not in good condition, but it was so cheap that I bought them anyway, so whatever. I sold these for $59.99. And I think the buyer paid like 35 to ship them on top of that. So they paid almost $100 for these old cast iron pans. So 
pretty cool. I did notice they've got some like light burning on the side from, you know, use, which is, you know, I think that's kind of cool. That's character. And I did put that in the pictures. So yeah, those are a good profit item. I just got to figure out a, a good box to ship them in. Hey again. So I've got another sale. It's pretty funny too, because this was really being considered for the trash can, this item. And uh, I ended up listing it. Let's see, it's in F1. And I got this at the 10 cent sale. Where's F1? Right there. Um, if you go to my NC Picker channel, look for the 10 cent sale. I got it there, I'm pretty sure. Oops, dropped my hat. I got both of these there, these two little bags. These are like little camera bags, both low pro. Uh, and I mean, this one is in bad condition. You see, it's like worn, really pretty beat up. And like I said, 10 cents is what I paid for it. It was one of those things for 10 cents, it was hard to not just grab a bunch of stuff. Um, and I think, I think the condition at the sale was it was 10 items for a dollar, but you had to buy 10 items. So I had to find 10 items to buy. I bought that one. Um, so I could get my $1 deal. And I got a bunch of, I think I got those Tupperwares that I sold a while back, uh, the tins, those uh, flour and sugar metal tins, those were all in that 10 cent deal. So yeah, 10 cent bag for a camera and that sold for 10.79 free shipping. I'll ship it first class for three or four bucks. So about five, $6 after, man, probably 450 or five bucks after all is said and done on profit for that one. but. Hey, it was either that or the garbage, and now someone's going to get some use out of it, so I'm not complaining. Ah, it's beautiful. All packed up Sunday afternoon at 2.30. I love that. I love being ahead of the game, and now I can go edit this and get this up before dinner time on Sunday, so pretty excited about that. Uh, yeah, pretty decent weekend of sales. No huge dollar items. I guess the pans were the best dollar-wise um, with the $60, so everything else is fairly small. Just bread and butter stuff but that's you know that's what keeps food on the table as they say um i'll do some more listing tonight and i have a couple auctions ending tonight and tomorrow several with bids so we should have some good sales over the next 24 hours hopefully hopefully i've been having this real bad um luck lately with my auctions where i'll get a bid right when it starts and then the auction will close out and i'll earn exactly what that first bid was so I have a bunch of $9.99 bids that have been that way all week with no new action. So I might have a bunch of $9.99 auctions ending tomorrow, but you know, 10 bucks a piece, it's not too bad. All right, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I can't wait for yard sales to start back up. We're so close. Actually, let me show you one thing. I know a lot of you probably have already clicked off into the next thing, but I gotta show you something pretty cool today. Prepare yourself. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Look how dirty my garage door is. Side tapping. There you go. That's what I call sunshine. It has been like four weeks straight of rain in North Carolina. It is so nice to have a sunny day. It's still cold out there. It's 45, but at least it's sunny. And next weekend looks like it's going to be 60 and sunny. And so I feel like we're really close to yard sale time. I think by early March, we might be getting some new yard sales. And you know, I've got lots of videos going up on my NC picker of yard sales, but they're old and it's kind of the, uh, you know, the worst sales of the season essentially is what we get nowadays. I mean, they're, they're entertaining enough to watch, but it's definitely not like the big scores. I'm really hoping I can get out there early March and get a brand new sale and some new footage and some awesome finds. So yeah, sun, it's awesome. Here comes the yard sale season. Thanks for watching. See you next time.